So you want to start making money, maybe you want to start a business, but right now you don't have any money. And so you're wondering, what business can I start with no money? Or how can I start making money with no money right now? Now what I'm going to tell you might sound counterintuitive, it might sound like not what you want to do, it might be a little hard to hear, but it's the truth and I want to tell you the truth. If you want to start your own business or start making money and you don't have any money right now, you should get a job. Yeah, I know, probably not what you wanted to hear, probably sounds counterintuitive because you want to become your own boss, so you don't want to go work for someone else, but it is so much easier to start a business, start a successful business, start making money if you have some money coming in. It's kind of like if you're trying to get a job, it's easier to get a job if you already have a job, regardless of what that job is. Just having a job makes you less desperate to get a job, and so you go into looking for a job with more confidence. You go into it with the right mindset, an abundant mindset, instead of a scarcity mindset. Well, the same thing happens if you're trying to make money or start a business. If you really need money, if you really need clients in your business, it's going to be really hard to get them because you'll come across as desperate, you'll feel desperate because you know that you need that money. But on the other hand, if you have some money coming in, perhaps from a job, then you will know that you don't need the money. You want to build your business, you want to become your own boss, but you don't desperately need the money. Your bills are being covered, you're able to support yourself and that will set you free to be able to successfully build your business from the start. And then even beyond that, if you have some money coming in, then you'll be able to build your business a lot more quickly because you'll have money to be able to invest in your business. Money to be able to spend on your business to grow it faster. When an opportunity comes along, you'll be able to invest in your business instead of just feeling like you don't have any money available to invest at all. Now of course there's lots of different ways you can invest in your business. Maybe you invest in hiring a designer to help you brand your business. Or maybe you invest in some advertising. Or maybe you invest in having your website built. My point here isn't which specific way you should invest in your business, but just that those opportunities will come along and the more you're able to invest in your business, the faster your business will be able to grow. So if you want to start a business, if you want to start making money and you don't have any money right now, I'd highly recommend that you start by getting a job. All right, so you went out there, you got a job, you have some money coming in now, so you're able to support yourself. And now you're ready to move on to the next part of the process and actually increase that income that's coming in every month, become your own boss, and start your own business if that's what you really wanna do. And so what you need to do in order to make all those things happen is you need to acquire some sort of valuable skill, a high paying skill, something that you can do for others that is either going to seriously improve their lives or something that you can do for another company company that will help that company to earn significantly more money. Now, this is the difficult part of the process because it takes work to acquire these high paying skills. If it didn't, if these were easy skills to acquire, then everyone would go out there and get these skills, everyone would have these skills, and they wouldn't be very valuable skills anymore. They wouldn't be high paying skills. There's lots of things that people do that are important things for people to do, but they're easy things for people to do, and so they don't pay very well. But here I'm talking about getting a skill that not very many people have that's a specialized skill that's a little bit difficult to get, and that is what is going to set you apart and make you uniquely able to be able to provide that value to other people that really improves their lives or provide that value to other companies that helps those companies make more money. When you do this, you will make yourself much more valuable and you will increase your earning potential. So if you're starting with no money and you want to become your own boss and produce income for yourself, then the second thing that you need to do is to acquire a high paying skill, a skill that can earn you $10,000 or more per month. Now, once you do have that skill, and I can't stress that part enough, you need to acquire the skill first. A lot of people think, oh, I want to start a business and I want to be a web designer, or I want to be a graphic designer. And so they start to acquire the skill and then they immediately start to go out there and try to make money as a web designer or graphic designer, try to attract clients. And they wonder why it isn't working, why they're having such a hard time attracting clients. It makes them feel like a failure and they often give up because of that. So 
First, acquire the skill. Actually get good at what you want to do. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you can't help people out in the process. While you're learning the new skill can be a great time for you to do some work for people for free to start learning how to work with clients, start learning how to find clients. But I wouldn't really recommend trying to make money with your new skill until you actually are very good at it and you will feel confident and good about charging people for that service that you can provide for them. But once you have acquired that skill, once you're good at it, then you can move on to the third step, which is to start doing freelance work. While you're still working your day job, you can start acquiring clients and doing work on the side. And when you create content that helps other people and demonstrates your expertise, you'll naturally attract clients who can see how good you are at this thing that they need help with. So the third step of this process of making money, becoming your own boss and building wealth is simply to start freelancing on the side. Don't quit your day job yet. Keep your day job so you have that consistent money coming in every month. So that you aren't stressed about where your next paycheck is going to come from or who's gonna pay your bills but at the same time start to build your business by working with clients probably pretty obvious. Now that you are doing freelance work, you just need to work on finding more and more clients until you're earning enough money by freelancing so that you can support yourself or equal the amount of money that you're earning from your day job. Some people like to wait to quit their day job until they have completely replaced the income that they were getting from the day job, whereas other people simply determine how much is a reasonable amount of money that they need in order to support themselves, and then as soon as they pass that threshold, they quit their day job. So you, of course, can decide what you feel comfortable with, whether you want to wait until you have just enough to get by from freelancing, or until you have as much as you want from freelancing. But basically, in this part of the process of starting a business with zero money, you just want to work on finding clients until you get to that point where you have enough monthly income coming in. At this point in the process, you've almost made it. You're supporting yourself full-time as a freelancer, so congratulations. And now not only are you earning more money while being more in control of your life, you've also created a lot of opportunities for yourself because now you have some choices. Now you can either continue to freelance or you can start hiring people and scale this business that you've started or you can use the money from your freelancing to finance a different business. Because maybe all along, you didn't want to start a service-based business. You wanted to start a business that sold some sort of product, but you didn't have the money to start that business. But now you have that opportunity. So why might you want to pursue one of these opportunities? Well, maybe you want to keep freelancing because that is what really gives you the most freedom and flexibility. You aren't working with a team. You can work whenever you want, not work when you don't don't want and you get to keep all of the revenue from your business. On the other hand, maybe you want to start hiring people and build a bigger business. You want to scale your business because that gives you the opportunity to greatly increase your income and potentially reduce your working hours. But it does come with a little bit more commitment. Or as I mentioned a moment ago, maybe you want to use your freelancing income to finance a different business. Maybe you want to start a product-based business or some other type of business that required some sort of initial financing, some capital to get it off the ground. Maybe you need to buy physical inventory, so you need that cash, or maybe you needed to have a more flexible way to earn money so that you had the time to create and market a digital product or to develop a software but whatever you wanna do, you now have that opportunity because you got a day job that paid your bills so that you had the time and space to pursue acquiring a valuable skill so that you could use that skill to bring value to others and earn income as a freelancer. And now you're here with plenty of opportunities. So does that make sense? 
do you now understand how you can go from wanting to start a business but not having any money to being able to successfully start a profitable business that can really give you opportunities? I hope that this video showed you how that's possible and the path that you can take to get from where you are now to where you really want to be. Now I'm sure that you're probably not the only person who you know who might be interested in starting their own business, the only person who you know who wants to make more money. So if you think that this video would be valuable to anyone else, then I would really appreciate if you would take a few seconds of your time to just share it with them. Maybe you send it to them in an email, maybe you share it on social media, you can just post a tweet or post on Facebook and let people know that this video will be worth their time. Also, before you go, consider subscribing to my channel. I make new videos every single week all about entrepreneurship, success, and personal development. And if you enjoyed this video, then I think you'll really enjoy the videos that I have planned for the coming weeks. So just click that red subscribe button so that you don't miss the next one. All right, well, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode, and I'll see you again next time.